Oh, what a way to spawn in, isn't it? I have no idea what I'm doing in the middle of a body of water, but... Ah, uh, that's mu much better. Sooner, so, sooner I'm, out of, I'm out of this biome, the, more, the better it is. <sighs> Alright. Anyway. What do we have here? Well, there's a mysterious building in the direction I'm looking in, but I'd rather not investigate mysterious buildings just yet. Hmm. I suppose what I ought to do is, is stop this water from running or leave this biome. And I'd rather leave the biome. It's going to be awful inconvenient if if I have to f if I have to keep swimming upstream. Here we are. Anyway. Wait a minute. Ah, here it is. The quest book. Welcome to Enigmatica 9. And Enigmatica 9 is glad to have me. There's three kinds of quests. Exploring, learning, and challenges. Um, they're still working on them, but... I suppose I get out to avoid the ones that that are marked as works in progress. If there's an update, I'll update. So let's see. For the rest of these, it's a bit daunting to, f to find out more modded Minecraft. And in case I, I guess, in case I um, in case I need questions, uh, in case I. I have questions about the mod. I, if I need this book, then uh, there's challenges here. There's learning mods here. Come to think of it, I wonder if like I was going to ask if those if those check marks actually. Um, this is taking way too long. Anyway, these check marks. I'm gonna forget about the check marks. Never mind. I'll leave my viewers hanging for. for a skeleton's sake. Done with this yet. Okay, I was going to ask if the check marks are um, <clears throat> are needed to unlock the quest line itself. What? Oh my goodness, this is no ordinary skeleton. Neither is this. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm t I'm gonna. was going to avoid them. I've been trying just that. Because there is no way I'm taking these on. Not in my condition. What level am I at? 68? Height-wise? Yeah. <coughs> I'm going to have to dig without a pickaxe, because I wasn't given a chance to get one, and I have to tunnel up until, until I hit the surface. Anyway, there are some quests which are working in progress. The building quest is a work in progress, but, but it's got a lot of basic stuff in it. So it may, ironically, be one of the first quests I end up doing. First quest lines I end up doing. But not one of the first quest lines I end up completing, since there's so much work in progress. You saw, or rather glimpsed, all those um, purple question marks, or purple squares, white question marks. Now those, uh, those, those are like, a symbol that means unknown. 
Like, the developer hasn't gotten around to doing this yet. Um, or filling in those quests yet. <coughs> Makes perfect sense. After all, there have been... I think there actually have been eight versions of Enigmatica. And they've all had quests in them. But a lot of them have been the same. There've, but there have been differences. I mean, Enigmatica 9 is a lot less complicated than Enigmatica 8. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's a slimmer mod pack, but um, that just means it's easier on your computer to play. I, I was trying to... Um, I was trying to make things run a bit more smoothly. I know I'm filming at 30 frames per second, so... Um, sitting in maximum frame rate for the game of 30. I don't know if that helps or not, but... It makes sense in a way, doesn't it? Now, in case you're wondering where those skeletons came from... Though they came from that mysterious building. Which is why I won't go there. The building... I will... get to it. Hmm. But... <coughs> not until I can... Not until I can fight back, and not until I have some armor. since I wasn't able to get anywhere without getting shot at. Okay, I'm at... I'm at 73. Y-level is 73. The surface, conventionally speaking, is considered Y-level 64. I am 9 going on 10, going on 11 blocks above that. I'm beginning to wonder exactly how many more I'm going to have to dig through. I suppose it's kind of hard to see, but... You might notice that it's not completely dark in here. There is light. Which is very faint. So I can tell when I'm nearing the... Um, nearing the surface, because the blocks above me... Wait a minute, am I actually going towards that thing? I think I am. I... But... I may end up having to simply for the sake of getting out of here. And besides, I don't even have a single block to my name. I can't dig stone without a pickaxe. Well, I don't know whether this is some kind of... I don't know how significant this is. But it seems like I'm going to go an entire day without getting my hands on a single block of anything. I've got items. But no blocks. And I may end up breaking 80 or 90. Um, as far as what the Y value is.
All right, so as you may have ascertained, it, you can't see it, of course, but it's night. There was a sound cue that uh, signals the transition between day and night, and we just heard it a, a bit back. This is certainly a way to spend your first day, isn't it? Pinned by skeletons who fortunately don't know where you are. But you've had to leave the um, the way you came in open, and you managed to outrun them. But as soon as they... Well, this is cold, or this hurts especially. As soon as they find you, they can chase you and... Well, you only take one shot. Now, it doesn't look as though they know where I actually am. Come to think of it, neither do I. Exactly what advancement could I have possibly made? I mean... I found some place, but it looks like I'm in a biome called the Amaranth Fields, but I still don't know what the significance of this is. Now, you may have noticed that there on the uh, top right, there is a heads-up display, and it's got, well, it tells me where I am and where monsters are. So far, they seem to be strays, which are a form of skeleton. But the arrow they hit you with, uh, the arrow they hit you with, it also slows you down as well as hurting you. Aha, uh -huh, here we are at last. Grab this block and stick it right here. That way, they can't go after me. So now I'm a little, I'm a little safer than I was, but I'm still gonna have to wait the night out a bit. Fortunately, you can see the dirt. I'm near the surface. It's much easier to dig through because it was meant to be dug through. Oh, there's gravel, too. Hmm. All right, here we go. You know, for night, it's awful bright out. Well, in. So, now that we're more or less safe, if a, if a skeleton were to come down here... Um, oh, there's a lamp up there. Anyway, if a skeleton were to come down here, they wouldn't be able to... Come to think of it, they might hit me, theoretically. I don't want to make it dark in here, though. I don't know. I'll keep, keep an eye on this place. I mean, everything comes in feet first. Nothing will be able to go after me unless they're one block high. So, let me see. Quests. Seems I've got one for getting started that I never claimed. Ah, wait. This is a... Did I actually get something out of that, or no? Because the beginning it looked like no, I d didn't. Even though there was clearly something there. I don't know whether that's a bug or not, but... We've got building... These building quests, actually, they look like, um... They look like... They don't look like quests for, um... Quests for, for starting things off. They look like quests for gusting up what you have already. Like, and these are the uh, the 
the adventure quests. Building a nature's compass. I might need that. Dungeoneering. Actually, this brings me to my original. My original question of, of do I need, need to take these off in order to set off other quests? But the quests I'm interested in doing right just now are the kind that are easy enough to fulfill or to, to get finished. And so far I've yet to see any with actual... Well, I mean, yeah, once you get into stuff, it's an actual reward. there are actual words involved, but looks like the only ones where there are actual rewards involved are quests that um, hmm. quests that just uh, that don't, don't just start things off, if you know what I mean. I mean, have a look at I keep confusing these be so much easier if I had a quest book. Anyway, have a look at this quest, for example. Mechanism. This thing, if I were to check it, I'd immediately get 100 experience points. But I plan on doing mechanism later. Possibly very soon, but later. Because everything's later. And this is... Well, I guess some of these are thankless, but... Uh, they're pretty basic stuff. All you gotta do to complete this one is have 16 redstones. That's easy, relatively. But once, but you only get the rewards once you are in, once you're involved in the quest, in the mod pack, um, mod pack in question. And there's these. Now, I had to guess I'd say that this gets completed when you actually go to the Twilight Forest. And, but a lot of them are just free experience points. Which has me wondering... Experience, you see, can be liquefied were crystallized. And I'm wondering if uh, if there's a way of storing experience, your experience. Doesn't seem to be one, but then again, if if there isn't one, how exactly is anybody supposed to? Oh, lovely. Okay, so I was ex I was hoping the sun would come up, and as you can see, it hasn't. It's cloudy out, and that means it's still not safe. What I'm going to do, Helen, is wait this out. Either the rain will stop, and the sun will come out, and all the uh, undead mobs will be killed, and, unless they're wearing armor, or um, or the rain will continue on into the night, and I'll have to wait that out, and out too. I'm tempted to just sort of take a peek out here. Because it doesn't look as though there are any, any uh, actual mobs. Apparently not. That's interesting. Still, you don't look a gift, gift pony in the mouth, do you? I am getting out of here. Like, now. Whoa! Ah, 
honestly, it's as if these other, as if other kinds of mobs don't even even exist. There's nothing but skeletons. Let me see if I can. It looks like I have to cut down this tree the old-fashioned way. Sometimes it's possible to. Um, Um, what do you call it? Vein mine. Meaning there, um, there's a keyhole down. It could be the, um, I think it's a grave key. And, it's, and it's like an entire, an entire vein of something will be mined out. And sometimes the definition of what a vein is means a bunch of continuous blocks. And that's really all there is. But sometimes vein mining is only possible with tools. And sometimes it's not possible at all. And I have no idea what the state of vein mining is in this pack right now. My own state is I Well I just finished a quest, I'm not exactly sure which quest, but it may or may not have a reward involved. A copper shield. I'm not exactly sure what that does per se. But none of that's really important right now. I am in dire need of food. And there's only one way I can think of to get any. And that's leaving this biome. For the one up ahead. Now why am I so interested in that biome? Because it's got oak trees in it. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the logic was here. I, I guess it's because oak trees were like... They might have, Way back, they used to be... They, they might have just been, like, generic trees, the only kinds available. But... Oak trees... Uh, their leaves decay. And you can get apples from them. So what I'm going to have to do is cut down oak trees until I get apples. Ah, here we are at last. Okay. So that got me some food, but it wasn't enough to start healing me. That gauge, that, um, that food gauge needs to be either maxed out or within one, what do you call those things, shanks? Yeah, one shank of being maxed out. Still, it's reassuring to know that no one actually did away with the, uh, with the mechanic that, uh, that decaying oak leaves give you apples. I can easily see that being a thing. that one time and they're and they're enemies inbound so I or at least they'll find me anyway so what I ought to do yes I know it's breaking a bit of a cardinal rule in this game but I did dig directly downward even though I didn't know what was there so I guess I'm going to have to Wait this out too. But while I'm waiting, I can build myself a nice cra Jakarta crafting table. Well, I'll start with an ordinary crafting table. To be honest, it's much better than. All right. The problem is, I mean, yes, I could plant the seeds, but I'd have to wait for them. 
to develop and that takes multiple days Wonder of wonders, it seems to have stopped raining. And it's actually sunny out. Therefore, the only... the only uh, undead mobs, anyway, uh, should be in the shade, under trees and such. And there don't seem to be any anywhere near me. But I've dug through um, 84 blocks of uh, blocks of wood, um, or at least that much in trees, and I still can't find. Ah, Lamas. I'm guessing there's a wandering trader around here somewhere. But I don't think they sell food. And I wouldn't have anything to buy it with anyway. All I need is one more apple. And that'll be enough. Aha! Here we go! That is... Yeah, I'm just gonna let myself heal for a bit. And that looks like the jungle over there. <laughs> 